Hey, it's your Wisconsin wine guy. And in keeping up with tradition, I thought I'd do a wine and food pairing. Now, here's the bonus, because there is a bonus. The bonus is this. It's Merlot month, October 2024, and I'm doing a wine purge. I'll put the purge video down below, and also a link to the winery. What was it, a wine review? No, it's just a Merlot tasting. <laughs> it's all one video. But anyway, so we're doing the, I did the wine purge in the Merlot month for the Winte Sandstone Vineyard out of Livermore Valley. You know, and this is a 2015, so it's almost 10 years old, but I couldn't pass this up for doing my uh, wine purge and also doing my Merlot month because I've always enjoyed this wine. I can't tell you what I thought about the 2015. You have to watch the video to find that out, you know, and so I'm going to now pair my Sandstone Merlot with something unusual. You know, if you've been following for a while, you know, I like to just step outside the box, you know, and uh, do some different wines. Oh, and also, I couldn't remember the name of the other vineyards called the Morning Fog. So you have this vineyard here, Sandstone, you have the Morning Fog uh, vineyard. And you may find some sandstones in the market, but you also will find quite a bit of the morning fog. But anyway, that being said, here we go. So, I like to step outside the box when I pair my wines with food. Not something traditional, something unique, something different, something I never had, and see what happens. And today is no exception. Now, you know, I've always, I've done quite a few different pairings, you know, with uh, uh, sardines. With different flavorings, different toppings. But today... I'm also, not just today, but I also am a fan of mackerel. And I've been searching, searching, trying to find some pretty good mackerel, and I finally found one. So this mackerel is uh, imported by a company called uh, uh, Patagonia, and this mackerel is fresh mackerel that is swimming off the coast of Spain. You know, and I have one here, if you can get a look at that. I have one here, some uh, Spanish olive, green olives with pimento. Uh, extra virgin olive oil, some of my uh, double zero, which is paprika, paprika, cayenne, garlic, onion, cumin, you know, so I spice it up. And this mackerel is in a roasted garlic extra virgin olive oil, and I have some drizzling of balsamic vinegar in here, and I'm going to give this a try with my sandstone merlot and see what happens. I don't know how it's going to go. This is always first run when I do these wine and food pairings. So let's get it refreshed again with the wine. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Now I have the decanted one of the wine. In this case, for this tasting, mmm. I'm gonna pour a little bit more in here, just in case I need to have more when I do this tasting. So that will be, already be ready for the next pour. All right? Okay. Get out a little bit of aeration here. And there we go. So now, let's give this a try. Let's just try the mackerel on its own. I mean, mackerel is a nice meaty fish. I mean, a lot more meatier than, say, uh, sardines. You know, but a nice meaty fish. You know, rich tasting. And again, this is extra virgin olive oil and garlic, roasted garlic. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Wow. That tastes so good. I look at the dish, I think I should be drinking a Spanish wine. But, I'm going here. And these pieces are nice chunky. Mm. Oh, wow. Now, most people don't think of red wine with seafood. They think of red wine with steak or a burger. I mean, even a pizza, right? But I can step outside the box. You know how to do it. I step outside the box, do something different. That actually went pretty good together. It was just the salmon without the double zero, but I left one without no double zero, and the wine itself. You know, the richness of the of the the uh, mackerel itself. I didn't have any roasted garlic in it, but just the mackerel itself. It was just phenomenal. So now I'm going to try a piece with some double zero on it. You know, and this is nice and firm tasting. So double zero. I almost lost a piece, right? Double zero. I have bread here, but I can have it with bread. And I'm going to get a piece of the olive with pimento. Okay? Let's taste that. 
Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I mean, again, a perfect pairing with the olive and the pimento, with the roasted garlic, with the double zero spice on it, and the richness of the mackerel itself. This is just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pairing with my Winte Sandstone Merlot 2015. I regret, as always, opening up an older wine, especially in this case. I probably could have went another 10 years with this one. It is that good. It has maintained its integrity. So, I feel like I should have the Spanish wine, right? <laughs> so I'm going to finish eating my Spanish-type tapas. Uh, mackerel with roasted garlic and pimento, green olives with pimento and my bread with some vinegar with my Winter Merlot sandstone wine. This was a very good pairing. Give it a shot. Give it a try. See what you think. You don't have to add roasted garlic. But just try some just regular mackerel and extra virgin olive oil. And it's your Wisconsin wine guy saying as always step outside the box. Don't do just what's traditional. Try something different. Hey, try this with a hot dog off the grill, a chili cheese dog off the grill. I can go on and on and on, but step outside your box. It's your Wisconsin Wine Guy saying, as always, that your palate be the guy when pairing your Merlot from Merlot Month 2024 or your purged wine, which happens to be a Merlot. And I'll see you next time. Ciao!